I'm really big on knowing why I'm doing something based on some kind of science. Versus just, well, this is what they say are dogma. I'm after optimal health. I'm after inspiring others through the actions that I do. It's been this constant evolution of wanting to see what could I do next? What more can I do? Up till about eighth grade, I was actually very overweight. I peaked out at about 240 pounds. You know, people make fun of you, they make comments. And your self-confidence takes a dive, your self-worth kind of takes a dive. But I was so sick of where I was at, and the only way it was gonna change is if it started with me. We had some weights in our basement, and I spoke to my dad. He gave me the basic pointers on how to train different muscle groups. Within that year, I dropped 45 pounds, and I went down to about 200, 205 by the time I started freshman year. Down, up, come on. Two, and one. The most gratifying part of training others for me is being able to see that transformation take place in them, much like it happened to me back in eighth grade when I became, you know, a different person. Data is extremely important in my job. I want to be able to train as smartly and as accurately as I possibly can. That is the reason why I did 23andMe. When I got the 23andMe test back, it was an exciting time. When I found out about coffee consumption and caffeine in particular is that I'm likely to consume more than the average person, it made perfect sense because I do drink, you know, four to five cups a day. The test also told me that I'm more likely to have a taste aversion to bitter foods. That helped me answer why I don't like beer that much. One of the biggest pieces of data that I got back from the test was that I was more likely to have a fast twitch sprinter type muscle fiber the fast twitch gene is known to be carried in power lifters and sprinters. Knowing these gene variables is something that has helped inform the best possible workouts for me. I'm going to use more interval-based training. The whole concept is to be able to go really hard and high intensity. Then you kind of bring it back down to something mild low for a short period of time, and you bring it back up. I'm always looking for those kind of things that can help me progress forward as just a healthy person and as an athlete. Being able to appreciate what you know you were born with on day one, what makes you you, and what makes you different than everyone else in the world, it's really cool when you can see it right in front of you. That appreciation, it's, it's a sense of peace that you don't get anywhere else.